These are my top three baits I think you should be using in the month of July. So to start off, let's just get it all over. There's gonna be people that are up north that are, have different water temperatures than people in the middle and then people that live down south. I'm kind of generalizing what I think you should be using. I'm trying to give you the tactics of things that are happening all around the country and then hopefully you can use the best baits that you are comfortable and confident with. But these three or four or five baits are pretty much going to be able to you're going to be able to use all throughout the country because right now july is the dog days of summer when you're down here in florida it's miserable hot if you're in the middle of the country you're really dealing with warm weather too and then it's probably beautiful up north i imagine we are the bass are going to be doing certain things down south in the middle they're going to be looking for a little bit deeper water because the water is a little bit cooler that's also the same thing that's going on up north your ned rigs and your shaky head worms and things like that that are going to be on the bottom is really kind of the things we're going to target this month because the fish are going to go deeper it isn't that they're not going to be shallow if they're shallow they're going to be looking for structure a lily pad a dock a ledge or something that they can get some sort of relief from the sun from just like with us, being outside, we get burnt and so forth. It just makes things miserable, which really is the first thing I think you should do. I think that if you are out fishing and you're fishing for the whole day, first, I think you're crazy, but that's all right because I'm crazy too. But if you are, I think you need to make sure you put on sunscreen. Put it on get the or get a shirt that is sunscreen protective or whatever it is and stay hydrated. This is the time of year you don't realize how much you sweat and how much your body changes because of the heat. So stay hydrated and put on sunscreen or get a good shirt or a neck, the neck thing or the whole head, whatever it is, get it, put it on and use it. During this, the really the dog days, summer and August and even really June, the bass, a bass metabolism is drastically different. They will go after fish or go after a forage fish or whatever it is, a bite to eat, but really they're kind of getting a little bit in that summertime lethargic stage where they don't want to move too far. And if they can get something that's in their wheelhouse around them that just drops out of the water and hits them in the face, they're going to eat it. They're just going to look to eat as much as possible to gain weight for what's going to happen in a few months. Bass really are going to look for a bigger bait right now, but it doesn't mean they're going to pass up smaller things. Like I said, a giant worm probably is one of the things I should be talking about because it's really effective right now, especially bouncing off the bottom, dragging, whatever. Texas rigging, I think that's very important, but also a Ned is going to be unbelievably successful this time of the year too. If you have watched this far, you should have hit that subscribe button. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and like, become part of the team and family. So we started talking about the Ned Rig and a big giant worm. That's really in the same thing that I'm going to show you right here. Except we're going to use, I think the first bait I want you to use is some sort of creature bait. This is a spicy beaver, I think. And this is the water dragon from Culprit. And I use this a lot. Again, this, the reason I'm using these is I want these to, to sink to the bottom and I want to just twitch them, keep them low, keep them on the bottom and bounce them off the bottom. Be a little bit patient at times. Couple twitches and let it sit. Let the bass think that something that it's hiding or whatever. A beaver style bait or a creature bait really is what I should be saying is really important this time of year because the fishers are going to be deep in deeper water. So my first bait is either some sort of creature bait or a Ned rig or a giant worm. My second bait kind of fills in a lot of things. I think right now a perfect thing to fish is a frog, but this one is about top water fishing. I think you need to get up early, fish early and then fish later in the afternoon is when you'll get the most bites. It doesn't mean you can't find fish in the middle of the day, but I think they, they, they just go down deep. In the morning, they're used to feeding shallow or same in the afternoon. So that first early morning bite, I think you need to put some sort of top water on. Now it can either be a top water walking bait 
or it can be a whopper plopper low life. And that's what you get when you have a whopper plopper. You see what I mean, but you can get a whopper plopper or something. That's a disaster there. Uh, something that's top water oriented. That top that whopper plopper or uh, the Ber Berkeley Chapa will churn the water. Will make that noise that attracts fish. Uh, it kind of tells them that it's coming over, and they get aggressive and attack it. And there's nothing better than a top water strike, to be honest. So while I think a frog is a really good option this month, because I could say that pretty much down south year round. Right now, it's frog season down here in Florida. I think if you're in the southern states, a frog is perfect. But as you start to move up, I think you need to be using some sort of top water, chopo, whopper, plopper, any type thing like that. You'll get bites with it, and it's a great bait to use. And then finally, third, as they start doing the lawn outside, I think you should get some sort of deep diving crankbait. This is not a deep diving crankbait. This one's from Thunderhawk Lures. I think you want to have something that's going to dig into the bottom. It's going to bounce off the bottom. Uh, I'm not a big crankbait fisherman just because of all the grass and everything. But in that case, if you have a lot of grass, I think you go with some sort of lipless crankbait. If you haven't seen the Nomad series, I did a video on them. These are three different series of baits and actions, and they're really, really quite good. I actually have an unboxing of a Nomad coming up soon. This is, uh, these are two baits that you're going to get that you're going to fish deeper. In the case of the lipless, you're going to yank it through or pull it through that grass. The lipless crankbait, you just want to get it to the depth. If you're at 18 foot, use that 20 foot diver. You want that nose to dig into the, the bottom of the sea floor or the pond floor, or lake floor, whatever it is. You want that bouncing and that motion that commotion that that bait makes that's a great both of those are great search baits too now you can use them early in the morning but i think your your better time to use those baits are kind of when the sun starts to get middle level not when it's right directly over top of you but at that eight nine o'clock where you get some shine off of that and they hear it and they feel it they feel the vibration they hear it in the rattles and it's a great bait to use year round but in july those two are going to be very very successful for you so tell me what three baits you'll be using in the month of july i want to see them should i do a northern region southern region and central region and tell you the lures there there is a lot of research that does go into this and I try to generalize on what everything on what is happening throughout the country because what's happening down here we're having a serious frog bite right now is going to be different than what's going on in up north but we do know there's some characteristics that we do know are going to be the same the fish are going to go deep so that's what I try to do tell me what three uh, three baits you're going to use in July in the comments below remember take a kid fishing get your fish on I'll talk to you soon Cheers.